what are some ways that you think about um, having that conversation up front when you first engage with a buyer to try and get other people involved in a deal? I think there's a couple of things and it's relevant just even based on the poll that you have up right now or the data that you're collecting. And it's important call that deals look very different depending on the size of deal that you're selling, the complexity of your product, uh, whether it's SMB, mid-market, enterprise. Um, I'm not surprised to hear that there's a number of people on this call that sell to you know one to three buyers on average if that's where the data comes back, which looks like we're about split between one to three and four to six is very common. Uh, and I will say like, even though that maybe that stat on the last slide of 11 deals on average might feel much higher than your deals, all the same principles are absolutely true. Like if your deals on average have one person, you are going to see a massive impact if you can figure out how do I get two people involved in mm. a much higher percentage of my deals. Um, and to your, to your earlier question, Will, in terms of, of how to do it or what are the tactics, I think part of it just comes down to like sales 101 and the types of questions that you're prepped to ask and the research that you do before that call. Um, so if you have some context and can give that buyer a bit of a roadmap, it doesn't matter if it's a 30 minute first call or a much lengthier kind of earlier part of the sales process. Like you should know something about that company uh, and you should have a point of view on how companies typically buy your product specifically. So at Walnut, we have some things that usually happen after that first conversation. Hey, I'd like to give you a little bit of a roadmap here in terms of generally the types of people that are involved in the decision to buy Walnut and generally what we'd recommend as next steps after this conversation. And if you have done a little bit of research and you know first names, great. Hey, generally sales enablement's a big stakeholder for us. Is Jay interested in jumping on a call with us? Like you're not being pushy. You're just asking some questions uh, that may help that buyer think, oh, actually, yes, I didn't invite Jay to this conversation, but he'd be a great add to our next conversation. Like that's the most most healthy and I think easiest way that multi-threading can happen really early in a deal cycle.